A new army means a lot of new bases. This is why I would like to show you today how I have started the mass production of the theme bases for my new Horus Heresy Dark Angels army. As you can see I have chosen the Ruin Temple slash Ruin City theme with an unusual color scheme. Bases are the important part of the painting the army and they bind all the units together. But they might be also time consuming. This is why my approach was to make it quick and repeatable. I have used the blue stuff and the acrylic resin from the green stuff world as my main materials. Also, I have asked my friend to print me some base toppers, which I was going to recast. Of course, if you have a printer on yourself, you could simply print the toppers and that's it. But I don't have it and printing bases or toppers in big amount can be also expensive. So, to make a mold from the blue stuff, you need to put it into the boiling water for a minute. After that time it becomes totally soft and you can roll it flat with your fingers, until you reach the shape which will cover the base. Place the base or the part you want to recast on the flat surface and press the blue stuff on it. Be sure you press it carefully along the edges in the corners or the places which have more details. The more carefully you do it, the better result you will get. Work fast as the blue stuff keeps its shape just after a few minutes after taking it out from the hot water. It will be elastic so you can easily remove the part you wanted to recreate. As you can see, all the details are visible, even the ornament on the floor. Next we will use the acrylic resin from Green Stuff World. You need to mix it with water in proportion 3 to 1 which means three parts of the resin and one part of the water. However, I'm doing it by heart, adding a little bit of water until I reach the proper fluid consistency. Then I'm filling the molds which I have prepared before. I have made a few molds for 32mm bases as well as for the 40mm bases, so I can make the bases for the whole unit in one go. Take a note to level the molds properly, because in other case you will get an uneven surface at the bottom of the bases. You can also shake them a little bit or stir with the spoon to release the air bubbles. I must admit that I really like working with the resin, as it hardens pretty quick. You can take it out from the mold just after 30 minutes. However, as producer states, the final resistance will be reached after 24 hours. The process is very intuitive and very relaxing. But what is more important, it is repeatable. It means that after I have made some molds, I just need to fill them with the resin, which takes only a few minutes, and after one hour I can already paint the bases. Which I think it is a quite solid time-effort ratio. I just simply glued the toppers to the bases with the super glue. And I have adjust the edges with cutters and the hobby knife. Now the painting. After base coating all the bases at once with the black primer, I will use the blue-gray dusk from Green Stuff World and I will apply it with an airbrush as my first base tone. This step is rather rough and I want to have the black tones of the primer in the recesses as they create natural shadows. Next, I use the Tropical Turkus as I want to create a cool looking contrast to the black armor of the first legion of my Dark Angels. I am focusing more on the edges of the floor panels and stones. This is also a very quick step, but for the tabletop army you don't need anything more. Thank you. 
When all the bases are done up to this point, I have used the oil black paint from Rembrandt series to create the oil wash using the white spirit. Remember to use your old synthetic brush. I wash the bases all over without varnishing them before to save some time. My goal is not the perfect panel lining but rather weathering and darkening the bases. Then using the makeup sponge and the white spirit I will remove the oil paint from the most outer parts keeping the oil paint in the recesses. At this point the bases are ready and it is up to you what else you want to add. Personally I have dry brushed them lightly and I have used the red dust dry pigment as a final touch to complete the look of my first Horus Heresy units. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Also, please check out my Patreon page for more painting tutorials and more limited materials. See you soon, bye!